Ten Cats does Countdown. Sean Locke, Sarah Milliken, Johnny Vegas, Bob Beckett, Dick Reed, Susie Dent, and Rachel Riley. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy. Welcome to Edit of Ten Cats Does Countdown, a show all about letters, numbers and conundrums. Did you know, for example, there are 42 different references to food in the Bible? Nuts, crackers and fruitcakes are just some of the people that believe in it. <laughs> in cockney rhyming slang, baked bean means queen, whilst ducking bassist is rhyming slang for Prince Philip. And four eyes is a derogatory term for someone who wears glasses, which is clearly a completely unacceptable name to give specky swat face losers. So please, <laughs> stop calling dorky Harry Potter virgins that in the future. Thank you. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> OK, let's meet tonight's players. First up, it's Sean Locke. Sean used to work in a hospital, and part of his job, and this is absolutely true, was stopping people eating old food out of the bins. Basically, what I'm saying is, Sean and Johnny Vegas go way back. <laughs> <laughs> and joining Sean tonight is Johnny Vegas! <laughs> they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, I've been in the toilet after him, and let me tell you, that is not true. <laughs> And up against them this evening, it's our special guest captain, Sarah Milliken. <laughs> Everyone in Newcastle loves Sarah, from the drunk unemployed man sitting on the park bench to the drunk unemployed man standing next to the park bench. <laughs> They're all big fans. <laughs> and Sarah's teammate, Rob Beckett. Tonight, Rob is worried he might have bitten off more than he can chew. Don't worry, Rob. I don't think there's anything you couldn't chew. <laughs> Where would Rob be without comedy? I imagine beavering away, constructing a dam out of pigs and moss. <laughs> now, you've got a 100% losing record on Countdown. Yeah, I'm starting to get quite proud of that now. Do you, do you think you can sort of break your duck this I've evening? I've been practising so far. I've got up my game. It's not going well enough, so I've been doing, like, some reading. Um, <laughs> and just been doing some quick adding up. <laughs> five, five plus seven, twelve. <laughs> just like that. Twelve plus nothing, twelve. <laughs> just so that was the only other one you could think of. Well, I'm really good at twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, are you are you a romantic person? Would you say? Um, I can be. What's the um, most romantic thing you've ever done? Um. I once waxed my bikini line from my husband. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I dropped a bit of sticky toffee pudding and... <laughs> <laughs> it came up smashing, it really did. I recommend it to anybody. Um, I'm not allowed in Frankie and Benny's anymore, though. <laughs> uh, you've not had an awful lot of success as team captain on Cat's no. Countdown. Uh, if you win tonight, how are you going to celebrate? Well, it's unlikely. But if I do, I think I'd mount Sean. <laughs> like, not in a sexy way, like, on me wall. <laughs> I think I'll be safe. <laughs> I think it'll be safe as well. <laughs> um, Johnny, um, what, what do you think your strengths are? I, I, I honestly think tonight I'm a good listener. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in awe of Sean, so, as a captain. Well, why are you in awe of Sean? I do why. <laughs> he's, he's the moody uncle I never had. <laughs> yeah. All I've had in my life is, is too much cosseting and too much love. And people allowed me to carry on eating and drinking and just kept patting me on the head. <laughs> Sean's like a life coach. Mm, and I do it all with my eyes. <laughs> I just go. <laughs> the forehead is doing a lot of work there. Yeah. <laughs> And that, that makes me feel like a puppy that's peed on the rug of life. <laughs> OK, you used to work as a door-to-door -door salesman, Johnny. Um, yeah, I did a bit. 
I did three nights. <laughs> You did three nights. What, what did you sell? Uh, when, when lots of people bought the council houses, uh, I, I went door to door and offered to service the, uh, all the gas devices. <laughs> so we would come in and for only £25, we would service every device and that for, would cover you for a year. So your initial call out charge would be covered under that £25. <laughs> um, I didn't know you were going to ask me about that. In fairness, I thought you could ask me why I'm wearing this ridiculous fucking shirt. <laughs> it's got naked women on it. I look like I fly an helicopter in Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> There's a woman by the buttonhole with her legs akimbo. <laughs> Jimmy, that's what I thought we'd be discussing. <laughs> Not my shady past going door to door. <laughs> so don't do your. Oh, let's move on. That was a bit quiet. <laughs> all I'm saying, Johnny, all I'm saying, and I'll stand by my point... Don't you... fit! Don't fit! <laughs> <laughs> all fat men do it. They're in denial. They all grow the wardrobe, so they just put a T-shirt on with the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> it's not naked! <laughs> 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 it's got naked oh. women all over it. I never thought I'd be embarrassed by what I was wearing by Johnny Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> that one, she, she's playing with herself. <laughs> and I'm supposed to think about long mathematics. <laughs> yeah, it's the shirt that's distracting. I've got, I've got tiny tits brushing against me here. <laughs> okay, Look, Sean. I, I have Sh two Sean, 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 Sean. Sean. <laughs> Well, you just switched him off. How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> he, just went, he said a word, Johnny just went, mm. <laughs> Sean, what's the biggest compliment you've ever been given? Oh, well, there's so many. Uh, <laughs> I think probably the one that filled me with pride and made me feel I had to put a spring in my step all day was uh, one time I, I bent over in the street to tie up my shoelaces and someone mistook me for Uma Thurman. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was a wonderful feeling. <laughs> Johnny, have you got a mascot this evening? I have. I could not be prouder of this. My mascot is that uh, recently, 2000 AD, the comic that I collected... Oh, I don't think from childhood... Coincidental. <laughs> what, that yawn? <laughs> you know what? I am in awe of you, and we do get on really well, but if you yawn when I talk about <laughs> this, I will stick that... Fucking count. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, Johnny right. bring, bring it out again. What? Yeah, yeah. Make sure you get the yarn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Dawn, what have you got? <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it, Johnny? Oh. Um, 2000 AD. Judge you know, Dredd. Yeah. 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 Judge Dredd. Uh, recently, I was drawn in to the Judge Dredd comic strip as Judge Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that puzzles me is that the, the balloon should be fucking massive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made, I made two appearances in 2000 AD and this is... Um, well, that's bloody tremendous. It is. This, yeah. is. this is a life changer. This is where the vodka ends and the gin begins. <laughs> <laughs> Judge Johnny. Sean, yes. you got a mascot this evening? Oh, yeah, I have. I found this thing. You know, sometimes you find something, you go, this is just hilarious. I can't believe uh, I found something this much fun. It's just brilliant. And in fact, it's a singing fish. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Brilliant. Look, 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 look. <laughs> <laughs> They're brilliant, aren't they? They're brilliant. And it sings a song. So when, when did you find this? <laughs> oh, I found it the other day. <laughs> when market. you say the other day, do you mean the early 90s? No, no, I found it recently. I think these are going to be big. <laughs> you carry on with the show, I'll just have fun with this. <laughs> Can you hold the pen? <laughs>
I wish I found this. <laughs> Keep your hands away from my cookie jar. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wants to take a biscuit and they, they open it and they go take it. Keep your hands away from my <laughs> And they go, what the hell's going on? And then they think, oh, I better not touch that. <laughs> he doesn't say what's going to happen. Well, well, why is he, why is he storing them if he doesn't want anyone to... Keep your hands away from my So it's just got a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's, it's a withheld number. <laughs> Good luck editing this lot together. <laughs> let's let's put those down. No, I am. I'm 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 just, I'm just, I'm just trying something. <laughs> <laughs> if you angle it just right, he taps the top of your penis. <laughs> <laughs> so you can eat and not worry about having a girlfriend. Keep your hands away from my cookie jar. <laughs> That's the spot. <laughs> Keep your hands away from my cookie jar. You just took a cookie out. <laughs> he told you 15 times. He's very ineffectual. <laughs> 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 With my <laughs> cookie jar. <laughs> Are they <that> real cookies? It's <laughs> <laughs> been in his mouth, my hands. <laughs> really? Yeah, I but. Don't care. <laughs> okay, Rob, have you got a mascot? Yeah, I have. Uh, normally, I bring on my big bears as my mascot. They sort oh, of yeah. bit of support. I've got a bit. I've got like a six foot one. Well, we've got a picture of your big and bear. And a nine yeah. foot one. Oh, there he is. Um, <laughs> to give me some bear. support, the old big bear. Sure. Um, That's back from when your shirt used to fit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you got another big bear? Well, it's not really working, the big bear, is it? Well, you were losing. six foot and then nine foot, nine so foot. 12 foot might do it. Yeah, I thought that, but I thought maybe I need to think outside the box. So what I've done is I've got little bear. <laughs> <laughs> really small, isn't he? I mean, it's just Sarah's boobs now, and that's... <laughs> <laughs> Put him in between if you want. He'd probably balance I think you're quite losing. well there. <laughs> Oh, no. It's claggy, so it'll stick. Claggy <laughs> <laughs> there. Oh, there he is. Oh. <laughs> to keep I, think, safe. I think the cameraman's thinking, I'm not sure I can do this. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mr. Wow. Whiteley, he's turning in his grave <laughs> right now. I like your tiny bear. I hope he brings you good luck. Yeah, uh, sorry, Sarah, do you have a mascot? Bear. Uh, yes, I do. Well, do I have uh, quite a bad run on this show of being rubbish at it. And I was quite good at school, so I thought maybe if I adopted some of the things from school. So, something I didn't have at school that I think I could have done with is, uh, an, like, an anti-bullying kit. Oh. So, this is my school bag. So, in here, uh, first of all, I've got a stick that I can get my bag back out of trees with. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's that. And then I've also got um, wedgie-proof knickers. Wedgie-proof knickers? Wedgie-proof knickers, which are like that. Oh, wow. <laughs> they're, co they're comfy once they're on, but it takes, like, three men some lube and a shoehorn to get them on. <laughs> and, uh, and the last thing and I've got is... Knickers. Thank you, if you don't mind. That's fine. You probably wear them on your head, to be honest. Um, it's just some wet wipes to get rid of this bit of my back. Um, <laughs> So, so, so what wants to do what? To get rid of this bit off my back. You were quite sexually adventurous oh. at school. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite hurt by that. <laughs> now you've made me wonder if it wasn't spit as well. <laughs> okay, over in Dictionary Corner, we've got Vic Reeves. Go on. Vic, you, you're part of a very famous and well renowned uh, double act with Bob Mortimer. How does working with Susie Dent compare? Susie, well, there's the same scent, <laughs> I suppose. What, what do Susie and Bob smell of? Um, diesel. <laughs> <laughs> and with Vic, of course, it's Susie Dent.
<laughs> Susie recently said that if she wasn't a lexicographer, she'd be a midwife. So what you want about Susie? She loves looking up things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have any irrational phobias, Susie? I have one big phobia. What, what, go on, what's your phobia? I haven't met anybody else who's got this, but I hate getting wrinkly fingers. <laughs> so I can't ever have a long bath. Just kept your hands in there. I yeah. do that when I swim. When I swim with my kids, I <laughs> do that. Yeah. Yeah. Have you swim like, in your like that? Stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Do people just think you brought the party to the beach? <laughs> OK. And in charge of the numbers is Rachel Riley. <laughs> Rachel has appeared on Countdown, The Gadget Show and Strictly. Is there anything Rachel can't do? Yes, dance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rachel, you seem, you seem very calm and collected. Uh, on this show at all times. Uh, is there anything that really makes you lose your temper? Um, just the usual stuff, like animal cruelty or religious persecution, or if someone tries to tell me the numbers answer before I've got it on countdown. <laughs> if someone tells you how to do it before you yeah, get it, you Yeah, it's, get, it's oh, right. most annoying if I'm watching it back at home and then I get it before I get it. The <laughs> <laughs> so only person that gets it before you is you. She's so smug. <laughs> like TV, TV me. She's really annoying. <laughs> so you've watched yourself back and you annoy you? Yeah. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you say sorry to yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, the prize the teams will be competing for tonight is this, the countdown bunk bed. <laughs> <laughs> Do we actually get to keep that? Yeah. Because I seriously might up my game. For <laughs> <laughs> the, the bunk beds? Yeah. Yeah, but you'd want them to change the sheets. <laughs> also, if you'd worn pants, this would be a better view. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's count down, everyone. Time for the first game. Sarah and Rob, you get the first pick of the letters. Do you want to pick the letters, love? Can I get a vowel, please? Thank you, Rob. A. Um, a C one. I can't say the word. Consonant. Yeah. N. Consonant. <laughs> Near enough. That's all right, isn't it? And then another consonant. <laughs> T. A vowel. <gasps> I've got one. E. And then another vowel. I. Yeah, yeah another smashing. vowel. And then a bang on a couple of C bombs at the end. A. <laughs> J. And. OK, and your time starts now. Sarah, how many letters? Five. Rob? Five. Good for you. Uh, Johnny? Six. Nice. Sean? Yeah, so five. Five. OK, Sarah, you're five. Uh, bants. Like, like, uh, sparring. Bants. Is that, is that a word uh, yet? I mean, I feel like it's going to be a word. Yeah, so I could probably get a point in a couple of years. <laughs> because I it on. We can hold yeah. it for you for yeah, the next time you're on, yeah. <laughs> is bants in there, Susie? Uh, not in mine. Rob, yeah, what's your five? Uh, bites. Bites. <laughs> That's a word, isn't it, Suze? It is. Thank you. Very appropriate. Um, <laughs> Sean, your five? Beast. Oh, OK. Um, Johnny, what was your six for the points? Jibant. Jibant. What now? To jibe. A lot. Jibant. <laughs> jibant. Someone, someone who does a lot of jibing. A jibant. Yeah. Uh, Susie, is jibant a word? Uh, no. To jib, to jab, to jast, <laughs> to jab us, jabartis, jabant. <laughs> Jesus Christ, no, you're Latin. <laughs> well, five points to both teams. Oh.
Vic, Susie, could they have done any better? I got a sevener, and I got it, didn't I? Without All looking in up. there or anything, nothing, I got it out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Abstain. Ooh. Abstain. Oh. Vic Reeves, come on. Why <laughs> did you get that, Jenny? <laughs> We've got some more here as well. Bassanite, which is a kind of, kind of rock in it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's and just a seven. Was a, a bassinet. bassinet. Oh, it's a little, a little uh, helmet. Yeah. Okay. On to our first numbers round. Okay, Sean and Johnny, your turn to pick the numbers. Two yes. from the top and the rest from everywhere else, please. Thank you, Sean. No. Two large, four little, and they are five, one, nine, three, and the big one, seventy-five, and one hundred, and the target, four hundred and twenty-six. Okay, and your time starts now. Um, did you get it, Sean? No, 425. OK, Johnny, did you get it? I did. First time ever in years of watching. Sarah, did you get it? No, I've got 44. Rob, did you get it? Yeah. I feel like that. OK, what, no one is, is more shocked. We're going to have a steward's inquiry into this. I've got it written down. OK, well, let's see. How did you get it? 100 times 5. 100 times 5, 500. Minus 75. 425. 1. 426. Well done. Johnny Vegas, yeah. did you do it the same way? Well, yeah, basically. Well, 10 <laughs> points for both teams. Sure, the scores at the moment are Sean and Johnny have 15 points, Sarah and Rob also have 15 points. <laughs> and here is your teaser. The words are ball rise. The clue is hang slightly to the left. That's ball rise, hang slightly to the left. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser, the words were ball rise. The clue was hang slightly to the left. It was, of course, liberals. <laughs> so, at the moment, uh, both teams have 15 points. Time to mix things up a little bit, I think. They've been playing in teams so far, but this game is just for Johnny and Rob. So, Johnny, your turn to choose the letters. Vowel, please. Thank you, Johnny. O. Consonant. R. Vowel. A. <laughs> oh, I'm on a roll here. <laughs> <laughs> Consonant, please. T. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, another consonant, please. T. Uh, vowel, please. E. Vowel, please. U. And consonant. L. Uh, <laughs> consonant, please. And the last one. G. And your time starts now. Rob, what have you got? I've got... <laughs> it's counting up six. Johnny? I've got a five. OK, what's your five, Johnny? G great. Rob, what, what do you get? What's your six? Rattle. Rattle? R-A-T-T-L-E. Well, six points to Rob. Well done. <laughs> well done, Rob. So, uh, Vic, Susie, could they have done any better? <laughs> what is that? Tutorage. Tutorage. Oh, oh what, well, like, you've been tutored? Yeah, it's like tutorage. Tutorage. I've just been tutored. <laughs> tutorage. OK, so at the end of that, Sean and Johnny have 15, Sarah and Rob have 21. Okay.
Now it's time for Sean and Sarah to go head to head. Sarah, your turn to pick the numbers. Can I have uh, two big ones and the rest small, please? Two biggies for little ones. And for this round, the little ones are eight, three, seven, and another seven. And the big one's 150. And your target, 620. OK, and your time starts now. Sarah, did you get it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got 629. Sean, did you get it? 619. Oh, no. I've got 619. That's what I've got. Sorry, my maths at the last minute was wrong. I've got 619 the same. Yep. Sarah, how did you do it? Oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 7 times 100 is 700. Uh, minus the 50 is 650. Yep. Uh, 3 8 is 24 plus 7 is 31. Take that away from the 650 is 619. Yep. Oh, well done. One away. Sean, how did you do it? Same way. So that's seven points to both teams. <laughs> uh, Rachel, could it be done? Uh, yes, he could have said seven times 100, 700. The other seven plus three is 10. Times eight is 80 and take it away, 620. <laughs> OK, Sean and Johnny have 22. Sarah and Rob have 28. <laughs> no. I'm breaking new ground. I've, I've, seen, I've never gone this far before. I don't think you've ever been in the league Never. Can Sarah's we, can never we, won. No, can we stop the show now? Yeah. <laughs> You're doing ever so well. I might fake heart attack to get out of it. <laughs> if anyone's going to fake a heart attack, it should really be Johnny. <laughs> don't have to fake, mate. I have one a day. <laughs> Wakes you up, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it needs an alarm clock. Just that numbness in the arm and the. <gasps> <laughs> okay. Um, time to go across the dictionary corner. Vic, what have you got for us? <laughs> what have I got for you? Right. Well, now look. I've been recently working for a drug baron. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'd cocked up on one of the shipments. So I got chased by a couple of his henchmen through a marketplace <laughs> and uh, ran down a little slender alley through uh, a, a, a room with some Chinese people having the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and as I did, actually, as I, actually, as I did, I just nicked a little bit of fried chicken and winked at one of the elder daughters who winked back at me. So, you know, like something in that. <laughs> Jumped out the window, went to another alley, went into a nightclub and then I ran past the drug baron, who was a, a VIP area, with some half-naked women, prostitutes, if you like. <laughs> anyway, I ran past him, the henchman still on my back, ran into the toilets and thought, I'm going to hide myself in one of the cubicles. And whilst I was there, I thought, do you know what? This is a, a, rather an ironic paradox yeah. for my life. You know, someone would go into the toilet and do the daily ablutions, but I'm in here hiding and my life's going to end. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll write a song about it. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes like this. Flush, flush, flush. Flush, flush, flush. Flush. Flush, flush, the smallest room, the room of easement, a place of concealment, the lavatory, Johnny Bug, a restroom, John Ken or Kazi, it's the finale of yesterday's sausages. <laughs> now it's flush, flush, farewell, my friends. You're going up around the bend, round the bend and away, my friends, straight to the bowels of the flush, flush, farewell, my friends. You're
we're going off around the bends, round the bends, and away, my friends, straight to the bowels of the earth. Farewell, my friends. See you in half. your teaser. The words are Snogatit. The clue is, I drink to that. That's Snogatit. I'll drink to that. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser. The words were Snogatit. The clue was, I'll drink to that. It was, of course, toasting. <laughs> so, Sean and Johnny have 22. Sarah and Rob are in the lead with 28. But before we go on with the game, time for a countdown bonus round. A chance for our teams to win some valuable extra points. Tonight, we're going to be testing their artistic abilities. And they have to draw the countdown life model. <laughs> Rachel, life modelling, I don't know if you've done this before, but you're actually going to do this this evening. Well, I was going to, but then you took the piss out of my dancing, and so I don't really feel like it. I think you're really, really good at dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're not doing it, who's doing it? Well, I, I, I just got in a, a pretty close replacement. Oh. We look similar naked, so... <laughs> We're not even going to notice the difference. <laughs> Um, mm. You've got sketch pads in front of you. You're going to be doing yeah. some life drawing. Mm. Johnny, you're a talented artist. I know you're a potter, but you went to art school. But the best picture from our teams will win five bonus points. If you'd like to take your place in the middle in a... Listen, in... Whilst you're doing it, could you explain dark matter? <laughs> 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 and the big okay. bang theory. Have you got your pens ready? <laughs> yep. Yeah. OK, uh, but please, go ahead. Uh, the countdown life model, your time starts now. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> The interesting thing really is the cock to ball ratio there. <laughs> uh, now, are you just drawing that? Uh, yeah. You're really focusing on one area. Yeah. Yeah, has anyone spotted he's got a head? You could draw that as well. <laughs> I started on the head and I'm doing the shaft now. <laughs> I would say you've absolutely nailed these knees. Thanks. It's yeah. going, Coco! <laughs> looks very familiar. <laughs> oh, it's changed how it was when it started. <laughs> Just a few seconds left. You've got to finish off your drawing. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, everyone. OK. OK, ladies and gentlemen, the Countdown Life model. Okay. Uh, Rob, can we yeah. take a look at your picture? Because I'm sort of on, I did sort of like more of a profile because I was on the side sure. a bit. It wasn't, let's, so, let's gone for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I've got to say, mm. even. <laughs> yeah. Even. But, I to... was expecting better even yeah. from you. Well. Did he have clown he... shoes on? Uh, no, <laughs> he didn't. I couldn't draw what I see, Jim. No, sure, you're an artist. Sarah, can we take a look at yours? You can. Um, <laughs> so what I've done is I've kind of replicated the cock and balls with his nose and his mouth as well. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. I'm quite pleased do, with that. Do you know what the interesting thing about that is, Sarah? If I had to pick him out of a lineup, I would be able to identify him <laughs> from that. <laughs> You've already captured his essence. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, I, I, I could see his essence. Um... <laughs> Sean, can we take a look at yours? <laughs> I ran out of paper for the head. <laughs> Where are you holding it? It kind of looks like your head's just on top. <laughs> so, uh, Johnny, can we take a look at yours? I, I tried to draw it quite sympathetic because I have uh, lots of live models have modelled for me in the past and lots of court cases have followed, but um, <laughs> so I tried to, to do a, a, a close representation. Oh. So. Johnny Vega. <laughs> I think we can agree. Five points go to the best picture. I think Johnny Vegas, everyone. Oh. <laughs> OK, on with the game. Sarah and Rob, your turn to choose the letters. Can we have... Uh, let's start with three vowels, please, Rachel. Thank you, Sarah. I... O... E... Uh, three consonants, please, love. V... 
P M. Ooh, two vowels and a consonant. O E and F. Okay, Thanks, and your love. time starts now. How many letters? Oh, I've got fours. That's all I've got. Fours? Yeah. OK, Rob? I've got five. Oh, You've got five? I've You're the brains you. of this operation. I've been reading. <laughs> I've been reading and nice. working on words. Sure, OK. Uh, Sean? Four. Four. Johnny? Four. OK. Johnny, you're four? Love. Oh. Is there an L? It's no L, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I just really think the L should have a little, like little, uh, over the L bit. <laughs> They've been doing this show for like 40 years. <laughs> also, way... when it's up there, someone says it. They don't go. <laughs> 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 My apologies. I should have been listening better. Sean, you're four. Move. Okay. Sarah, you're four. Mope. Mope. Rob, I got movie. Movie. Five <laughs> points to Rob. So Rob, you got the points there, and I noticed you went a little bit gay exchange advert. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you make new friends on the telephone. Yeah, Call me <laughs> local lads in your area. <laughs> oh, oh, adorable. oh, what a time to be alive! I'm fucking quality at this now. <laughs> You're killing it. You're absolutely I'm killing it, mate. Okay, Vic, Susie, could they have done any better than their fours and no, their fives? No, he was brilliant. Top. Him there. <laughs> I think brilliant, you might have called it too soon. <laughs> OK, time to go across the dictionary corner. Vic, what have you got for us? <laughs> Origami, the ancient Chinese or Swedish or something form <laughs> of <laughs> folding pieces of paper up into a shape and then sometimes it turns into something. It's called origami. <laughs> Tell you what, let's have some music. Come on. Origami. The ancient art of folding pieces of paper. The ancient Japanese art of folding pieces of paper into a shape. Origami. O R G I R A M O A. <laughs> Origamo. <laughs> Origami. The Japanese art of folding paper into a kangaroo. Maybe. <laughs> Tree. Something else. You, know, you just don't know until you fold it and it turns into something. <laughs> Origami. Right, now, what is it turned out to be? Oh, hang on a minute. Look over there, everyone. Kirk <laughs> Douglas has risen from the grave. <laughs> oh, no, he hasn't. No, sorry, my mistake. <laughs> anyway, the ancient Japanese art of folding paper into the shape of a unicorn. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Vic Reeves. OK. The scores at the moment, Sean and Johnny have 27, Sarah and Rob have 33. <laughs> and here is your final yeah. teaser. The words are ass cocks, and the clue is they're favoured by the clergy. That's ass cocks, they're favoured by the clergy. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser. The words were ass cocks. The clue was they're favoured by the clergy. It was, of course, cassocks. <laughs> Time for our final letters game. It's all still to play for. Sean and Johnny have 27. Sarah and Rob have 33, so you're just in the lead. Sean, your turn to choose the letters. I'll have a vowel, please, Rachel. Thanks, Sean. I. Oh, an I, Johnny. That's an I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll have another vowel, please. O. Another vowel, please. E. Consonant. Please. No, please. <laughs> uh, another consonant. S. Another consonant. M. Another consonant. S. Another consonant. R. Vowel, please. And the last one, A. OK, and your time starts now. <laughs> Thank you.
pass over to Johnny. I've got your desserts, everyone. Mm. I've got um, quite a big mouth. Do you reckon I can get one of them all in? Go on. Give it a go. Can I take the strawberries off? That might choke me. Yeah, get rid of the fruit, love. Yeah, you want to get rid of the fruit. That could be good for you. <laughs> no, no! This is the... Oh! Oh, my God! <laughs> 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 well, that is the best gay exchange ad we've seen so far. <laughs> <laughs> you just. Johnny, we haven't quite finished oh, yet, oh, have we? <laughs> Just a little bit to go. <laughs> I, I will practice the piano better next time. <laughs> Look, I'll help. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, so Don't you feel good now? <laughs> Father, why must we clean everything up before Mother comes home? <laughs> Do you want a wet one, Johnny? Oh, yeah, just the one. Not either. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does not want one of those. He wants a spoon. <laughs> Can I have a wet wipe when I finished it, Father? <laughs> no, I will hose you down as normal. <laughs> sure, we've got a few minutes left of the show, so I think probably if Johnny can finish that... Because people don't want to see food wasted on television. No, that'd be terrible. No. OK. <laughs> no, don't. Don't, <laughs> Is anybody else really turned on right now? <laughs> I swear to God, we're missing a trick. If we don't put an 089 up number, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 we used to sell tea bags, but nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta make the rent in some other yeah. way. <laughs> Call me now if you want to hear me shit this out. <laughs> hey. Sean, how many? How many what? Remember countdown? <laughs> uh, I only got five. Uh, Johnny, did you? Uh, what did you get? <coughs> seven. No it's diabetes. Seven. He got. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, how many? I've got oh, I've got a six. A uh, six, okay. Rob? Five. Five. Okay, let's hear your five. Um, poems. Poems? Your five, Sean? Reaps. <laughs> Reaps. Sarah, what oh, was yours? Um Spears. Spears. Very good. <coughs> Johnny, your seven? Respose. R E S P O S E. Reposes. Respose. <laughs> how many E's are you using? I mean I know that. How many have I got? That's oh, <laughs> <so bad. laughs> Sorry, I meant for Spire. One P. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, look, I'm off me tits on cake. <laughs> I can't read my own writing. Well, six points for Sarah. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> OK, Vic, Susie, could they have done any better? Well, yeah. Susie came up with a brilliant one. I looked at what she'd written down and it says, Promises! Ooh, Ooh. she's so good. OK. All I had was spasm. <laughs> Sean and Johnny have 27. Sarah and Rob are in the lead with 39. <laughs> and if you can do this as well, the conundrum. Come on. Yeah. OK, fingers on buzzers. It's time for today's countdown conundrum. Your time starts now. Champions. Yes! Yes! Let's have a look. Thank you. Sure, not everyone. 
Sarah, that means Sean and Johnny have 37. You've got Sarah and Rob. 39, you've won! <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Jim, I'm the proud owner of these countdown fun beds. <laughs> Sarah and Rob, would you like to claim a few fun beds? Yes! Thanks to all our panelists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night. <laughs>